I'm not gonna lie, man. It's a lot of fun. Let's see if we can take that dreadnought out. Ooh, come on, come on. Two torpedoes at him. Yeah, we got that dreadnought for the double, baby. Welcome back everyone. With the brand new maps Heligoland Fight and Zebrica, we have seen a ton of boats added to Battlefield 1. And one boat that's very prevalent on both maps is the Torpedo Boat. In this quick video, I'm going to give you guys a bunch of tips to help you get a lot better and destroy the enemy with those Torpedo Boats. The MAS Torpedo Boat was the fast attack vessel used during both world wars with a primary purpose of combating submarines. Here in Battlefield 1, the torpedo boats serve as a great mode of transportation and a strong offensive weapon if used correctly. Torpedo boats are the most prevalent vehicles in abundance on the new maps Heligoland Bight and Zebriga, so being able to use these torpedo boats effectively can greatly improve your chances of winning and can really improve your KD. In this quick video, I will share 7 tips that can really help you step up your game while using the torpedo boats which have now become more important than ever. The first important thing you should know about using the torpedo boat is how to properly aim its most potent weapon, the main torpedoes. Each torpedo boat is armed with two torpedoes accessed only by the driver, a primary weapon consisting of a 20mm auto cannon in the passenger seat at the front of the vessel, and last but not least two 8mm heavy machine guns on either side at the rear. As for the torpedoes, they can both be fired singularly or in rapid succession. As for aiming the torpedoes, keep in mind that they do not turn once fired. They travel in a solid straight line away from the front of the torpedo boat once they are released into the water. This means that no matter the direction the boat is traveling or the angle of turn, you must be certain to release the torpedoes once the front of the boat is directly centered on your target. For targets at distance, lead your shots in order to account for the amount of time it takes for the torpedoes to travel in the water. The torpedoes travel at a distance of approximately 50 meters per second. The torpedoes also have a range of approximately 3,000 meters, which means you should be able to hit an enemy target from either side of the map. That's a pretty long distance, guys. In order to help with aiming torpedoes, I recommend using the third-person view while driving. Using that third-person view can give you a better view of the direction that the boat is facing in addition to the line that splits the torpedo boat from the rear to the front. This line can be thought of as a direction arrow always pointing straight ahead. The antenna that sticks up to the right of the driver's seat sits along that center line and can too be used to help you aim at targets. Once you gain familiarity with aiming the torpedoes, you will begin to gauge how far you should lead targets in order to get both torpedoes to be direct hits. Speaking of direct hits, tip 2 is for both drivers and passengers and concerns the other weapons I mentioned on the torpedo boat. The primary 20mm cannon that sits in the front of the boat is excellent for taking out other torpedo boats and infantry. Just be sure to lead targets at distance. As a driver, keep in mind that this 20mm cannon can only cover a 180 degree radius at the front of the boat. Make sure to keep the front of the boat facing enemy boats or enemy infantry to help the primary gunner be most effective. The rear 8mm machine guns also cover about a 180 degree radius at the sides of the boat. They are much weaker in comparison to the 20mm auto cannon, but can be effective against weakened boats and infantry. Make sure to keep enemy infantry and boats within their 180 degree radius of cover as well to keep boats and infantry from flanking to the rear of the boat. This brings us to tip 3. The rear of the boat is the most vulnerable and most valued target to the enemy. Resist every attempt the enemy makes to get behind you. Those 8mm machine guns in the rear cannot strike enemies at the direct rear of the boat and neither can your torpedoes or the 20mm cannon. Think of the torpedo boat operation like dogfighting in fighter planes. Do your best to keep maneuvering left and right and even in unpredictable patterns but never allow the enemy to have your rear in sight or you will find your boat quickly sinking. The fourth tip many players are unaware of is the fact that a beach torpedo boat can still be a very useful vehicle. Believe it or not, meleeing the boat can push it back into the water even from great distance. Quickly slapping a torpedo boat back into the water and making any necessary repairs can have your team with an effective boat again or can leave the enemy team one boat short. Don't be a fisherman guys, this is tip 5. Far too often I see players sitting in torpedo boats not moving out in the open waters. 
unless you are actively tracking a target or stop for a reasonable purpose, always keep the torpedo boat moving. Keep moving and keep scanning the horizon for enemy destroyers, torpedo boats, and dreadnoughts. There are way too many enemy ordinances that can head your way while you sit still, fishing. Also, if you keep moving, it is much more difficult for enemy torpedo boats to target you at distance and enemy anti-tank rockets to hit you. That goes on to tip number six. Listen to the whistle, guys. You can hear enemy torpedoes in the water. They whistle. Listen for the incoming whistle and scan the water to see the trail behind torpedoes. This will tell you their direction and can sometimes give you enough time to make measures to move out of the way. In the direction of the enemy. Oh, 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 we just missed that. Oh, we're dodging torpedoes, man. That was intense. You guys probably couldn't tell because I was on the controls, but I'm moving back and forwards. I saw like torpedoes at the front, so I moved backwards. I saw them at the back, I moved forwards. Speaking of moving out of the way, this is tip 7. To take out L-Class Destroyers and Dreadnoughts, keep your distance. This is where experience with leading your targets becomes invaluable. Distance is your friend, guys. I recommend leading those L-Class or Dreadnoughts, releasing your torpedoes, and strafing until you have a new set of torpedoes at the ready. This makes you a difficult target to hit and always allows you to keep those whistling torpedoes headed to those enemy hulls. See if we can hit this boat with the torpedoes. The trick is to lead them. I don't think I let him buy enough right there. I'm gonna have to get out of there. Woo! Another triple, baby! We have a dreadnought. I hope these tips help you get better with the torpedo boats. Using torpedo boats has become a huge part of Battlefield 1 with this North Sea update for turning tides. How do you feel about the torpedo boats? Should they be given more armor? Are they too powerful? Do you enjoy using them as much as I do now that you've gotten some tips? Let me know your thoughts about these now more important torpedo boats in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy more videos like this, hit that like button and click the subscribe button so you don't miss any new content here on the channel. It's your boy Rumspanker, and until next time, I'm out of here.